There's an old adage in business that if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And we are absolutely passionate about making sure that our product set is always getting better for every single one of you in this room. So over the last year, we have put a phenomenal amount of effort into doing that. I'm Seb Asplant, Group CTO, and I'm going to be taking you through briefly some of the main things that we have done over the last 12 months. So we have spent over £1.5 million on improving products in the last year. And that is a phenomenal investment that makes a real difference to what we're able to provide to you. Uh, what does that actually mean in terms of the number of upgrades that you receive? You actually have had 25 fortnightly upgrades of Cintra IQ. Um, and that means that every two weeks you'd have seen changes, improvements, sometimes quite small, sometimes quite large, um, that just mean that your system should be becoming more stable, it should be having improved functionality, and you should be seeing continual changes from that. And on cloud, we have seen over 2,000 mini upgrades that have proceeded into the cloud. So again, most of those may be, it may be just changing the color of a button or changing the position of that. It may be a bit of functionality that you're not exposed to until we're ready to send it to you. But all of those upgrades are going in on a daily basis. So that is an average of around 10 upgrades every single day that we're putting in to the platform that makes it better. So I'm going to touch back on what Dan talked about with VPN. So this has been a, actually a major technical achievement that we've done for you. So you can now access directly through a browser Cintra IQ. And we've had it in what we call beta, which is an initial testing mode, for around three months now. Um, and our ambition is that by the middle of October, every single customer will be using the browser-based version of our, of our IQ product. That means you no longer have to engage with IT teams to give you access. Um, you no longer have to deal with weird connectivity issues. You can access it on any new device without having anything installed on that device or having anything in your network configured. So it just dramatically reduces complexity for you. Um, and it's been an awful lot of complexity for us to deal with. Um, Steve, who's doing a talk, will be scratching his head of the things he's had to work out to make this a reality. Um, but now we're in a situation where we can do that. And we think it's a, a big change for you. It's also a big change for us because it reduces our support burden on things like connectivity issues, which were often out of our hands in the past. And finally, it's a Im massive improvement in security because now you don't no customer will have any direct connections into our network at all. And it just reduces the number of things that could potentially go wrong, which is part of what we're doing. By simplifying, you always reduce the number of vectors that can go wrong. Um, we have made significant changes to education. So we have a number of education customers. I know there's a number here. Um, and we've made some significant improvements and changes that have a big impact on what we're able to do. So first and foremost, we have made some significant changes to Cintra HR so that it can handle education customers. That includes um, pay spines, pay grades, um, and all of the kind of multiple posts and integrating that across Cintra HR and Cintra Payroll to make sure those two things are in sync. That's been an enormous amount of work from the team and that is essentially going live in the next couple of weeks. So we're really proud of some of the work we've done there. Um, we've also made significant investment to make Cintra Cloud better for, it's not just for our outsourced customers, it's also for our software customers. So both software customers and outsourced customers get access to this. And again, it can handle all of the pay elements that you need for education customers, which are quite different to what standard, um, standard companies need. And finally, we've done the, it's, it's not recent, but it's been in the last year since I stood up here, we've done the Further Education Workforce Report. Um, and that enables and streamlines your ability as colleges to do that. And it's a compliance need, and you have to have that. So we have achieved that for you. Um, we touched on it already, but we have bought a business called Capture Expense. Um, and we haven't just bought that business, but we've also integrated it into our payroll system so that Capture Expense and our payroll system talk to each other. And it means that you no longer have to, if you run expense processes, you don't have to worry about ferrying data around you don't have to worry about running an additional pay run for expenses and gathering employee bank accounts in another location. 
you already have all of that data in your payroll system. So you get your expenses system, you streamline your process and capture expense. When we, we found James and we found the product, we were blown away immediately by how powerful this was. So we've now bought that, that business and we've integrated it into our suite. And we think that this is a, a real game changer for people who run expenses. And it dramatically simplifies that process by single click. All of the data will go into payroll and you don't need to worry. So we think that's a big advancement. And also, in the last year, and I did stand up on a stage in Newcastle last year and talk about the fact that we were going to build a new holiday booking system. So we have built a new holiday booking system called Employee Hub. So Employee Hub also has pay slips, P60s, P45s, and P11Ds. Um, and in the near future, it will also have absences. So Employee Hub has been an enormous investment for us. Now, we did already have an existing system, but it was so tied into Centra IQ, and it had, unfortunately, some real difficulties around managing organizational charts that for a large number of customers just wasn't appropriate. So we had to essentially go back to the drawing board, start again, and build something that we thought was more appropriate for our users and delivers more value, especially for those customers who are outsourced and don't have access to our core payroll software. Um, these are just a selection of highlights of things that we have done in the last 12 months. Um, and we know that the future, next 12 months will bring a lot of new things. And um, I've been slightly light today on pitching all those things that we're going to be doing. But there's a lot of breakout sessions where you can find out more about where we're going and those things. Um, but we have a huge number of changes and improvements that are coming over the next 12 months. And we look forward to receiving all of your feedback and suggestions and things that we can do. Thank you very much.